quick and easy install of these two cameras for your toy hauler. This is the camera system that we picked up from Amazon. It's the Rohan dual digital wireless camera system. And uh, this camera is pretty unique. It does a pretty good job. Uh, it lets you see what's behind you. And also we installed one inside our toy hauler so we could see what was going on as we were traveling down the road uh, with the toys that we may have in the garage at the time. Uh, they are split screen and you can add up to four cameras. It's turned off, which it is. That should be the power to the back camera. Next, we're going to locate the plug that's on the back of the toy hauler. Uh, this was pre-wired by Alliance on our Valor, so it should make it pretty simple to install this camera right on the back section, right under the rear awning. So first thing we're going to do is just pry this little plug out, and it should come out fairly simple. And there it is. And there are the wires for the camera. Guys, uh, now that we got the uh, the plug out of the back, the camera wires out, uh, we're going to go ahead and check uh, the voltage on those. Uh, with the camera switch turned to on, and we'll turn that to on just to make sure that uh, we have power back there. And then uh, we'll check it on our meter here too. Next, we're going to grab our meter here, guys, and we're going to turn it up to the voltage so we can go ahead and check that um, wire out to make sure uh, what volts we have coming out of there. Next, we're going to go ahead and find the center of the plastic plug that we took out of the valor. We'll then take our three-quarter drill bit and drill out the center of the plastic plug that we removed from the back of the valor. We're going to use this three-quarter inch grommet with a quarter inch diameter hole. It is a quarter inch thick metal. Uh, we used this size of grommet so that it would not only fit the plastic plug, but also through the bracket of the camera system. As you can see, the end of the camera connection will not fit through that hole. So we are going to take our utility knife and just slice that grommet open. This way we can open it up and then we can go ahead and seal it with our ultra bond. This way we can put place our wire through there and then ultimately seal it back shut using our ultra bond to seal the grommet back shut. You will apply a little bit of pressure, hold it for a couple seconds, and it will be ready to go. We will then insert our grommet through the plastic button. This way, this will seal this shut. The picture above does show the wires going through there. It's just a little more difficult to see. We're going to mount that camera right underneath We the, will finish it off uh, with some TV clear silicone here, so, around the grommet uh, the television to help seal garage. out the weather conditions. Um, so, this install it, is quick and easy and makes a get, great accessory uh, for your right RV. The so, uh, With this install we done, we, we will the, head to the inside uh, to place the, the second camera inside our here. toy hauler garage. And we're going to take, uh, and we're going to add a, this add a circuit, which is a, a nice little cool device here um, for adding a circuit in somewhere where you don't have to splice into uh, the power wire. Um, and then you can add the, uh, the circuit pretty safely without having, you know, the overload. And then on the ATA circuit, if you take a look, uh, you have two spots for fuses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the original seven and a half amp in the front, in this section, like that. And then we're going to add the 15 amp right in the second slot. So the original fuse would go in the first, protecting that, and then the 15 in the back, and there gives you the line out to add uh, into your 12 volt system. So that will plug into 
the fuse holder in the top and make sure that's all snapped down there it will plug right into the fuse holder up there and then we'll be able to have our wire into the uh, butt connector so this uh, plugs into here very nicely um, and I'm just holding the camera with one hand and actually uh, pushing that in and you can see um, it makes a nice job there and then we can take and um, wire tie or tape our wires here when we're completed and then all we have to do is get our ground wire put in right there so on our monitor guys you can see on camera too um, and I haven't showed you the back door camera yet uh, um, for when we're uh, backing in or going down the road but um, this is on uh, camera two that's inside our toy hauler so we can uh, we're going to be able to watch uh, um, you know our motorcycle as we're going down the road here and we'll, uh, we'll get our adjustments made from the screen um, we'll have to get uh, on the uh, channel up front the number two channel for this radio or for this camera excuse me um, and then we can make the adjustments so uh, we'll be able to see what is happening inside the toy hauler as we're traveling down the road um, and I just wanted to leave that uh, tension off that just a little bit until we get it we'll just go ahead and uh, get the adjustments made on this and then we'll take and uh, go ahead and wire tie our wires up in behind here so uh, they can't be seen so uh, but that won't affect anything with the operation of the television uh, bringing it down from the bracket and uh, it'll be a great place for a camera to watch our motorcycle as we are traveling and with the wire tie gun it makes it uh, simple to go ahead and fasten those wires up in under the TV we may put one more there but uh, I don't know I think we're in good shape So you can see on the screen, guys, that it does have nice backup lines there. Um, our picture is actually backed up against a bank, so uh, it doesn't really um, uh, do it justice, but it is a, uh, a great view from back there, so you can see what you're backing up against. And then this is the, uh, the split screen with the backup camera and the inside of the toy.